Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Amazon EC2 spot instances. So by using Amazon EC2 spot instances, you can run fault tolerant workloads for up to 90% off. Amazon EC2 spot instances are spare compute capacity available in the AWS cloud at a discounted price compared to your on-demand instances. Meaning, so you would be getting your EC2 instances at some discount price, right? So usually when you spin up a virtual machine or an EC2 instance, that is called as on-demand instance. If you have the spot instance, you will be getting the discount, right? The price can change based on the current supply and demand of for the spare capacity. So don't worry about this part because I'll be explaining how it actually going to work, right? So Amazon EC2 spot instances work by allowing customers to bid on spare EC2 capacity that is not being used by other customers. So let's say we have 100 EC2 instance spots. Okay, so what this will do is it will allow the customers to bid for those spare EC2 capacity, right? So which are not being used. So when a customer places a bid on spare capacity, their bid price is compared to the current spot price for that, right? So let's say two of the people are bidding for an EC2 instance spare capacity. One is offering 100 rupees or $100 for whichever currency you, you can consider. Okay, so just to give you an example. And the other one is bidding at 200 rupees. Now, obviously, the person who is bidding higher will get that EC2 instance, right? In the same way, that is what it is mentioned here. When a customer places a bid on spare capacity, their bid is compared with the current spot price for that EC2 instance type in the specified region. Okay, so if bid price is higher than the spot price, the customer's EC2 instances are launched and run until either customer stops by themselves or terminates them or the spot price exceeds the customer's bid price or the customer spot instance is interrupted by Amazon EC2, right? So this is how it works. And if a customer spot instance is interrupted, the instance will be terminated and the customer will be charged for any partial hour of usage, right? If they have used exceeding uh, so much of uh, spot instance so that particular r or uh, that spare or that delta r of usage you are going to pay on demand right however if the customer has specified a persistent strategy such as a storing their data in an amazon s3 bucket or an ebs volume they can quickly restart their interrupted instance in a new spot instance and continue processing where they have left Basically, if you store your data, whatever you have in the EC2 instance to an EBS volume or an S3 bucket, what you can do is you can restart by attaching the same EBS volume to the new EC2 instance, right? So in summary, EC2 spot instance provide a flexible, cost-effective way to access unused EC2 capacity and can be a great choice for batch processing big data analysis and other workloads that can be interrupted, right? So this is how it works. But now the question is, why do we need to use the EC2 spot instance? Basically, EC2 spot instance are used because they offer cost savings compared to on-demand instances. This is the highlighting point here, right? So we are going to save some cost by using the, by using spot instance basically by bidding on spare ec2 capacity you can access compute resources at discounted price which can lower your overall computing cost right so our aim is always to lower the cost right so that is one of the reason why we have migrated to cloud right so 
one of the reason I'm saying not that that is the only one so you need to think how you can save the cost so Amazon is offering something known as spot instances okay additionally easy to spot instances can be used for workloads that are flexible and can be interrupted such as batch processing big data analysis and other type of processing that can be resumed if necessary right so even if the uh, if there is an interruption if you can resume it so all those type of processors or jobs you can run it on spot instance so this allows you to take advantage of unused compute capacity and get more value from the investment in the cloud right so that is about why we need to use ec2 spot instance next thing is similar to what we have discussed but it is use cases for ec2 spot instance as i have already mentioned cost optimization you will be using spot instance for batch processing big data and other workloads that are not time sensitive and can be interrupted second would be flexible scaling scale your compute capacity up or down with spot market to meet your needs third one would be application testing so you would be testing application on ec2 without paying full price for the on-demand instances next high performance computing that is hpc so basically you can run hpc applications and scientific simulations that can tolerate interruptions so these are some of the use cases that i could think of when when we spay um, amazon ec2 spot instances right so i hope you are clear on what is amazon spot instances and how we can uh, how it actually works and what are the use cases right in coming videos i'm going to make sure to teach so there there are more than 200 plus services that are being offered by aws i'm going to try my best to cover all of them in the similar fashion basically i'll explain what it is first how it works why do we need that and what are the use cases right so these four things i will consider if possible if i can demonstrate something i would also demonstrate that right so if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next one